If you're dealing with stubborn weight and you've done all the things right, you've tried all the diets, you've done the exercise, and it's just not budging, then this might be the video for you. So I'm a certified integrative nutritionist. I'm a certified fitness nutritionist. I worked in fitness nutrition for five years and I was in that environment of macros, you know, certain amount of fat, protein, carbs, make sure you exercise this and much, always be in a deficit if you're trying to lose weight. That's the only way. When, when I would hear that, that that's the only way to lose weight or fat, I would always know that's not true because myself, I was going through a chronic illness with toxic mold and Lyme disease. And whenever I would be living or spending a lot of time in an environment with toxic mold, I would gain 20 pounds in a month out of nowhere because bodies are so different, right? And we're going to go into something completely different than this more like uh, physical scientific side of weight. but we have our own genetics, right? And so like if you have the HLA-DR gene or other related genes, it can be triggered in a toxic environment and those toxins can then be stored in your body because the body doesn't know how to remove those toxins uh, the same way that a, a person without the HLA-DR gene would remove those toxins in an environment like that. So it causes a, a condition called chronic inflammatory response syndrome where yeah you're literally just storing those toxins within fat cells to protect the body from the toxins because it can't remove them properly so you're gaining more and more fat cells to hold the toxins to protect the body so that's one way so that's just an example of how it's not just about macros and exercise and eating in a deficit but this other side of it is just even more important to me than understanding that you know we're all different genetically and your environment plays a role and all that and of course diet does play a role of course but there are plenty of people who are not eating in a deficit who still maintain or lose weight and why is that why is that that we see somebody who decides to put themselves first, you know, leaves a toxic relationship, uh, starts traveling the world or, you know, whatever, following their dreams. And then they start looking different. They're glowing, their face shape has changed, their body has changed, but it doesn't really seem like they're doing more. It seems like they're doing less and like they're joyful. <laughs> and so when we're holding on to things, right? Resentment, stress, worry, lack, unworthiness, all of this. When we're holding on to these frequencies that are not the truth of who, they, of who we are, the, these frequencies that are really keeping us separate from the truth of who we are, holding us back, having us repeat patterns that are keeping us in old timelines that are not allowing us to really live the life that our soul wants to live, which is a life of abundance, joy, and health, right? I think we all want abundance, joy, and health. And so we're holding on to these things. And when I started realizing that, because I was in a place of working in the environment, looking at everybody talking about macros and eating in a deficit and having a certain amount of exercise. And then I was also learning about how, you know, we're, we're storing toxins and blah, 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 uh, if we're dealing with this chronic illness. And sorry for the dog barking here in Barcelona uh, with my own dog, but he doesn't really bark. So, uh, um, so what were they saying? I was learning about those two things and I was like, there's something more because I know that on the other end of like a physical condition is the message that's trying to come through. I've made a video about acne and what that was teaching me. For me, one of my first chronic symptoms when I really started my health journey after a car accident in 2014, immediately started having symptoms. The first one was really cystic acne everywhere. And so that was like the feeling, once I started understanding the feeling of acne, it was shame and guilt and embarrassment. And I was trying to hide it similar to everything else that I was experiencing in my life. Those were really relevant emotions and feelings that I was going through in my human experience at the time and it had manifested in my in my condition of acne and so then i started looking at okay 
this weight gain. I, I started working on a yacht in Mexico after college. I was like, I'm gonna go move on this bow. I'm going to heal my body, heal my acne. It's gonna be great. It was not great. I actually got so much more sick than I had ever been. I was losing my mind. I could not function. But the, the most noticeable thing, the first thing that I noticed was 20 pounds within one month. And I was like, oh my God, what is happening here? And of course it was the toxic environment for me, but what was happening further? I had understood why I manifested the acne. And now I was like, what else is causing me to attract this? physical perceived reality where I'm gaining weight out of nowhere, but I'm eating so healthy. I'm running five to six miles a day with my, with my, my crewmate on the boat. And we're, we're living a healthy lifestyle. My intention was to heal my body and I'm doing everything right. But I was still holding on to so much, right? The condition of having all this weight, this stubborn weight is we're holding on to weight. Even if it is chronic inflammatory response syndrome, we're holding on to toxins. We're holding on. Where can we let go? Where can we let go and let ease come into our life? How can we release resistance that is causing this manifestation of our bodies literally just storing things? It might not be toxins from your environment. It might not be the biotoxins, but it is a toxin of some sort. It is toxin of resentment, of unforgiveness. So I made a video yesterday, how can we actually forgive? And you can watch that video if you want to understand further, but really it just comes down to seeing that everything is happening for you. Everything is happening for, all right, that's right here. He wants to say hello. <laughs> everything's happening for you. And when I started realizing that, started realizing that the acne, which was so difficult, I, I lost what I thought was myself in that experience because I was, I was young, but I was so used to just identifying with my identity, my, my, my perceived physical identity, my face. And then when I started gaining weight too, I was like, I don't know who I am anymore. And so it really means that you have to learn who you are. And when you learn who you are, the truth of who you are, where you come from, what you're a part of, you know, what I know to be true is that we are a part of the one infinite creator. We are a part of this one collective consciousness, God, source, light. We all come from that. And so then when you look at your physical conditions, and you look at the feeling of it, what does it feel like? It feels like I'm holding on to so much stubborn weight. I'm holding on, I can't let go. What else does it feel like? You know, it feels like I won't be accepted. It feels like I'm not worthy. None of that's true. None of that's true. The only thing that's true is where you come from. Where you come from is this infinite abundance, unconditional love. There is no such thing as unworthiness. There is no such thing as all, like, as the need to even forgive. Again, that's in the video yesterday if you want to watch that. But when you can start seeing that and accepting these parts of yourself as just parts, parts of the unconscious that have been there to serve in your evolution to help you remember the truth of who you are, and you can set yourself free from those feelings of unworthiness, of resentment, of shame, guilt, embarrassment, the feeling of needing to hide, whatever it is for you. When you can allow yourself to become free from all of that and then start choosing a life that is in alignment with what you actually want when you move past all those feelings of resentment and feelings and emotions and re of resentment and shame and guilt and all those things. And you allow yourself to start moving into the timeline that you've always wanted. And then you're going to start seeing these results of like, wow, my face looks different. My body looks different. I'm able to, you know, not restrict myself. Restriction is just another form of lack and scarcity. I could not do the life of restriction anymore. I was going down this path for years and years and years of treatment and detox and 
so much restriction. I was gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, soy-free, nightshade-free. I was all the things free. I was trying so hard to heal my body, to lose the weight and to clear my skin, but I could not in that lifestyle. Maybe it works for some people, but it didn't work for me. And why it didn't work for me was because that was not the lesson. The lesson for me was to realize the truth of who I am and to embrace that and to choose with my free will, which is my mind, and to choose from my place of alignment with my soul and to say, I want the life that I want, that I've always wanted. I want to be traveling. I want to own a van. I want to be in Europe. I want to have the best little Aussie doodle, big Aussie doodle in the world. And I want this life. And I've been holding myself back from this life staying in an unhealthy relationship, staying in a job that I don't like, doing these treatments and these diets of restriction, over-exercising my body, staying in friendships that didn't serve me because I was so stuck in these old patterns. But when you set yourself free, you can do less, have what you want, look good, feel good, and be in the timeline that your soul wants you to be in. You just have to set yourself free by realizing what the truth of who you are is. That's the message for today. <laughs> I was literally just standing there, getting ready to go to the car rental place today. I'm turning in my car in Barcelona and uh, doing just human things and then hopefully going to get my van that I'm purchasing and it's just a few hours away and I'm just getting ready and I was like, oh, this message needs to come through today. We've been talking a lot about spirituality and I guess this was a pretty spiritual video, but. What I also love talking about is health because we are in physical bodies. We do have our physical body, our spiritual body, our mental body, and we have to take care of all of them. We have to unite all of them. I have another video on that where it's a divine union with the three. And when I had that come through in my meditation and with some of the people in my more inner circle that I've shared that with, they're starting to use that with their clients, with the people that they're doing healings on. And it's like, we're all getting these light bulb moments. Like, oh, oh yeah. The mind cannot operate on its own. The body cannot operate on its own. The soul cannot operate on its own. The soul is what knows, the mind is what chooses, and the body is the creation here on earth that is here to experience all that they choose together and to send the signals of like, hey, this is what's going down on down in earth. This is what your body is experiencing. I need you to hear me. I need you to understand this, this emotion that is stored within my body, this lesson that has to be learned to set us free. And so together, the three of them can understand, can move through, can choose, can live in the timeline that they desire, but you have to unite the three. <laughs> All right, Arlo, you wanna come say bye? Come here, come here, come here. Up, 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 come on. Okay, we say bye. Thank you. <laughs> You're so big. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. Sharing daily videos. Hopefully we'll be in a van soon. Going down to Portugal to meet my brother and his uh, girl and her sister. And so it should be a fun little adventure. And I'm so excited to continue to share and to, to be on this platform with you. So I will see you tomorrow.